What's going on everybody? Welcome to another quadcopter video. In this video I'm just going to be showing you guys the first attempt at my quadcopter restraint system that I've got going on here. So actually right behind me you can see my quadcopter. Now what I've done is at the ceiling I've got it uh, connected to the ceiling. There's a stud in the ceiling and I've got a hook that's on the ceiling. And I've got these bungee cords with the little, uh, I don't know what the official thing is, like a grappling uh, hook that people use for like climbing. Uh, and I've got those, and I've got two 20 pound weights that it's uh, underneath. Mostly, the reason I'm using two is one to kind of act almost like a pulley system uh, so we can shorten the length of that of one of them. Now, as time goes on, I might want to let it actually free fly a little bit, but right now I kind of want a lot of restraint on it just, uh, just for safety. Now, I've got about uh, 15 zippy ties uh, connecting the hooks. I couldn't really find any better way to do it besides zippy ties. Uh, each point of failure has, well, on the top we've got four zippy ties uh, for, um, for points of failure, so it would cost take a lot of zip ties to break before this thing uh, would fall to the floor. And on the bottom we've just got two zip ties uh, for points of failure, uh, but I'm a little less concerned about the bottom as I am uh, the top when it falls. If it goes to the ceiling, I don't really care if it hits the fan or whatever, I'll just repaint. Um, but mostly I'm concerned about the things, you know, left, right, and all that. And the top will protect that even from hitting the window, from hitting the tank over there and all of that. So anyway, uh, we're going to go ahead and start this up. I've had enough problems with it already. I, the first propeller adapter, you know, these things that <clears throat> go right on the top here. The first one of those uh, was bad. It was like not necessarily, I guess it wasn't, it was like threaded to death. <laughs> so it was like over threaded. It didn't work. Got another one. And then I was torquing these on, and I ripped the top off as I torqued it, so I had to get another one, so I've had a really hard time. Also, if you haven't noticed, I'm actually in my new place. Uh, maybe I'll show a picture of it from the doorway or something. I've got my whole setup here, um, my TV and stereo and stuff over there. It's, it's quite nice to have all this new space. Got a new house. Um, so, yeah, maybe I'll do a series on the house or something, or the room at least, the man cave. So uh, without uh, further ado, let's go ahead and power this thing up. Hopefully it'll work. The last time I powered it up, I couldn't even get it to arm. I had to you know, recycle through all of the uh, processes, but uh, hopefully we'll be all set. Also, I got a dog in here. I'm going to try and convince him to leave. Uh, not very safe to have him in here. Plus, he probably won't like it. So let me go ahead and escort him on out, and we'll go ahead and get started. All right, let's do this. Final check before we plug it in. Make sure we got some good play here. Now eventually if it pulls this hard, you know, like the handle of the weight is kind of curved, so it might slip a little bit. That might cause me to piss my pants, but um, that should be fine. Uh, so let's go ahead and get this thing started. Now apparently we're, let's see. Switcher. One of our switches is probably, let's see. There we go. Okay, now we're ready to go. So we got that. Let's plug this thing in. That sounds like it's on. So, hmm, should add some better protection besides these glasses. Hmm. Don't have any protective eyewear. Probably should get some of that. Um, but we're not going to go too crazy today. Plus, we're not autonomous. Before we go autonomous, probably should get some of that and maybe even make a setup in the garage instead of in my room. Uh, got a lot of screens. There's what? One, six screens on this wall. So, <laughs> anyway. We got a lot of tilt going on. And that's actually uh, to the side a little bit. So we definitely need to calibrate that a little bit. But as far as the restraint system is concerned, that's quite nice. I'm happy with that. <laughs> All right, that is going to get dangerous fast. <laughs> 